south of the National Park in Killarney. And it was just like every other day we went out for a cycle. And there was a little grass path going down to another footpath. And there was an overgrown log with grass. And little did I know that going down that hill that day that I wouldn't come back up. I just met the log and went flying over the handlebars. And I just fell in the boat. Just the minute I hit the ground, I just heard a crack in my neck. And oh. just lost feeling and didn't know my body was there. Like. And you were conscious? Yeah, I stay conscious. Correct. Yeah. So you were on, on your back, obviously. Yeah, I landed on my neck and then I fell onto my back. Uh, what, your friends obviously gathered around you and... Yeah, they were... Obviously, they were just in shock. I looked to one of my friends and I said, ring an ambulance quick. And they just kind of they were still in shock. And I said to my friend Michael, I said... Michael, look, I'm paralysed, and he goes, Ian, yeah, don't say that, you're not. And that, after a few minutes, anyway, they realised, look, something's wrong here with Ian. And they rang the ambulance, and after a while of waiting, the ambulance came, and it was like something in a movie. They came down, the ambulance in their bright yellow jackets kneeling down beside me, introducing themselves, and just went through the procedure of stabilising my neck and put me onto a board. And off you went to Tralee? Off to Tralee General Hospital, yeah. And I I spent 10 days there, which just seemed like endless MRIs, X-rays, scans. And it was... Then I, I found out from my doctor that I had broken my neck and was paralysed from the shoulders down. So he... I broke C3 four and five, and I had a fracture to C6. Mm -hmm. The actual level of injury was C4. So that left me with my head and shoulders move, movement. So I, I also developed a collapsed lung and a, a slight bleed to the brain, but oh, thankfully all of them are gone. And generally my health, I'm back and yeah. feeling good again in myself. How did you feel when you were told that you were, the, the extent of your injuries? The first, it didn't really seem like much to me at the start because I, no, I knew nothing about spinal injuries or yeah. anything like that. So then after a while of my friends coming and obviously seeing how shocked they were, it kind of came back to me that, oh, they do see something different. And I just kind of said to myself, look, Ian, there's not much you can do here. Like, crying isn't going to make me stand up and run around the place again. So I always say to myself, if I can't stand up, I'll stand out. Oh, what a great, what a great philosophy.